Hey guys, I'm Sarah LaVon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have partnered with Wumblekin for this video. So if you haven't heard of Wumblekin before, Wumblekin is a company that brings together evidence-based information, which is why we are so aligned and on the same page about this, and then also with expert curated products at a discounted price for each trimester of your pregnancy, and then also for your labor and birth and postpartum. So what I love about Wumblekin is that they have done all the work for you, having done all the research, talking to nurses and physicians and lactation specialists, and then real moms to decide on the most important provider recommended, which means safe, practical, and then also, of course, really cute products that you need for each step of your pregnancy and postpartum journeys. And so today, I am going to reveal to you what's in each of their boxes. I'm gonna talk about each product inside. I'm gonna tell you why I think they might be helpful or not, and then how you can either get started for yourself, or honestly, I feel like this is like the most thoughtful, fun gift that keeps on giving for your pregnant family members or maybe your pregnant friends. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe down below, turn on your notifications, and then let's get unboxing. so excited to introduce you to this company called Wumblekin. What I think is really cool and that I've learned recently about them is that this company was actually started by a social worker and an, a labor and delivery nurse. And so being a labor and delivery nurse myself and knowing what it's like to start a business and maintain a business, I like love supporting small businesses that not only come from like the non-entrepreneurial background, especially nursing, cause that's like my heart, but also businesses that are supporting you and educating you. And so one of my like philosophies for the world is that education and support can actually change your experience, change your life potentially. And so with Wumblekin, they are doing the same thing, but differently for your pregnancy journeys, your postpartum journeys, your, your birth journeys through education and support. And so I am here, I'm gonna reveal to you each of their boxes. I have five boxes here. There's the labor and birth box, first, second, third trimester box, and then your fourth trimester box. So if you haven't heard that terminology before, the fourth trimester is really just postpartum. And they say that they call it the fourth trimester because there's a theory that our babies are actually born earlier than they were intended to so that they could fit through the birth canal. Most mammals gestate or they maintain pregnancy longer than we would otherwise. And so if we were to gestate or carry, maintain a pregnancy longer than 41, 42 weeks, our babies would never fit out of us. So that's where the fourth trimester came from. So you have four trimesters and a labor and birth box. But without further ado, let's get into this because I wanna show you all the things involved. I need to find the first trimester box, so give me a second. I love talking about products. I try not to talk about products too much on my channel because I feel like it ends up getting really salesy, but for something that I feel like also educates, I'm gonna educate you through this process. So if we pull out our first trimester box, they come like this. Here it is, all nicely presented. What I love about what they're doing at Wumblekin is that every single trimester comes with a little booklet that educates you about each trimester. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they're ahead of the game from me because I need to do first trimester videos, I need to do a second, third trimester video. If you want that, let me know in the description box down below. But I will put up here on the side all of the topics that they cover in this book and it's also beautiful. And that's the thing about branding and stuff. Like this day and age, we like life is too short to have ugly things. And so I'm all about it, like looking cute and being enjoyable to look at. It's also snippets of information. And so for me, it's like there's whatever way we can get out the information to help you feel more confident and help you understand what's going on with your bodies, the better. This is partially why I love them so much. The other thing I will say about Wumblekin is that they do have a blog. And so on their blog, they do other like topics, educational stuff. I will link them down below so that you can check out their blog because that's gonna expand on all the information they give in each of their boxes. So this is our first trimester box. So when you think first trimester, what do you need? You're like barely pregnant, right? You may not even know that you're pregnant until about halfway through your first trimester or later. This is the first or zero through 12 weeks. And so what usually happens is, first of all, you're not showing 
you're like excited about your pregnancy, but you're not feeling baby kicks. Maybe you're feeling awful. This is where like you're exhausted, you're throwing up or nauseous all the time. And then you're starting to like get your mindset right for the pregnancy. So let's see what we have in here and how that would support it. So first of all, I already know this brand. This is expecting you. So I have this brand, whatever it is, I have a I Love You Mom and I Love You Dad book that I've been writing in for my parents that I'll eventually give them as a gift. Sorry, that's like a spoiler for my parents. But you wanna get yourself some sort of pregnancy journal. Now I will say that for second, third, fourth time moms, once you have a kid, this kind of stuff goes out the window. So I really encourage you to take advantage of your time in your early pregnancy and take it like write down some things so there's some like really pretty quotes in here i oh my god i love the lines i love the lines i will show you the lines close up i am such a line nazi when it comes to like my journals and stuff the lines have to be thin and then my pens have to be perfect so i'll link my favorite pens down below just because extra bonus um but it has these prompting questions right now i'm most looking forward to i'm getting ready for you by and like what a sweet little memorabilia absolutely start in your first trimester guys like start documenting your feelings and see how they change across the way also a great way to connect with your baby connect with your pregnancy and also connect with like the shift that's about to happen in your life i'm trying to hurry because i know i could talk about this stuff forever and this video is going to end up getting really really long but i love this and this brand first of all it's trendy it's cute small lines full approval um i'm gonna have to link this on my amazon list as well <laughs> All right, I see a water bottle here. This 1000% necessary, one that has like a little pop top where you can like sip and you can be laying and sip on your water. This makes tons of sense for your first trimester. Um, it is BPA free. It's durable enough by Eco Vessel. Um, makes sense. You need to be hydrated. You are feeling nauseous. We wanna make sure you're not dehydrated in that first trimester. I like it. There is... I'm growing a human belly and body balm by mother loving potions. I love it. I don't know this brand. I'm not going to lie. Um, but let's open it and smell it and see, see what's going on in here. So this is probably for your belly. It says belly and body. <laughs> so you're growing belly, but you want to keep your belly moisturized, help prevent stretch marks. Oh, it smells. Um, what does it smell like? Honestly, is there hemp in this? Okay, it's tangy, it's really soft. I feel like I'm gonna use it as cuticle oil because I'm not pregnant. But you do want some sort of oil, balm, keep your belly nice and hydrated as it starts growing so that you can help avoid stretch marks. Cute. Olive oil, beeswax, shea butter, almond oil, coconut oil, essential oils of frankincense, patchouli. That's what I'm smelling. Frankincense, patchouli, and lavender essential oil. Great. Well, that's nice. I like that. And then, oh, I see them. Oh yes, these are so popular. You will probably end up buying these if you have any kind of nausea and vomiting. These are tummy drops and they have ginger in them. So they can be super helpful if you are nauseous. I will say that like everybody buys these and you will probably try them, but how effective they are for your nausea and vomiting, um, flex and flow on that one. So, but in theory, great idea because you pr well, probably will purchase them. Let me remind you that when you buy a box, you're getting like about 50% off of the products than buying them on their own. So it's a great way if you're already gonna buy this stuff, like get it at discounted price. And then there is a white Bella Band. Great, I love it. So this one, let the Bella Band hold your pants up. Oh, this isn't a support belt. This is too perfect. Okay, I totally thought this was a, a support belt, but it's not. Let me open it up and show you. So Bella Band, this is gonna be something that you can wear on the bottom of your pants as your pants start expanding and you can still sort of fit into them, but you kind of want to wear them open. You put something like this so it looks like it's a long tank top and then it allows you to wear your own pants for longer, which is awesome. Cute. Okay, pretty standard. Um... Awesome, I mean, that's easy. And then it also may kind of feel like supportive on your belly as your belly grows throughout your entire pregnancy. It can cover your pants so that you don't have like a butt crack hanging out or your belly button or anything. And then um, and then it kind of feels like it's it looks supportive. Like as far as like size goes, I feel like this would support a belly. I feel like everybody buys these and uses them. So I feel real good about this first box. I feel like it's a pretty solid review of things because we think about energy, nausea, vomiting, dehydration risk, and then mindset. 
and you have all of your bases covered. And then also like all of your clothes starting to not fit, but they're still fitting, which is why in theory you would have a belly band. So that's your first trimester box. Let's head to the second trimester. All right, we got our second trimester box. So the other way that this works, by the way, I'll say is that you can buy one box at a time. And let's say you're like already third trimester. You're like, I just want the third trimester box for all the discounted prices slash all the cute stuff slash all of the great information. You can do it that way, or you can subscribe and save an extra 10%. And then every month they send you or every month, every trimester, they send you this box in the mail. You almost forget that you did it. And then it's like, for me, I have a, I've had a lot of subscription, box. I'm totally a guilty subscription box freak. And like, for instance, FabFitFun is one of the ones that I subscribe to. And it literally came today. And when it came in the mail, it was like, oh, Christmas. It's like such a fun little pick me up surprise. And so I think about for like a gift idea or even for yourself or like a partner to give to your, to your partner, your pregnant partner, that this is like such a fun way to support their pregnancy, to help encourage the process, to give them evidence-based education from doctors and nurses and pediatricians and lactation people. And then also like give them that little pick me up for every trimester as things change. So I love it. I would totally subscribe if I was pregnant and now I am basically subscribed because all the stuff is here. So I'll be ready when I get pregnant. So your second trimester information, I will list everything that they talk about and teach you about in this little booklet. Happy honeymoon, they said. The second trimester is referred to as the honeymoon because most women have, have an easing of symptoms and feel much better than they did in the first trimester. I love that. So they give like a little bit of a review of second trimester. I'm gonna give you my review of second trimester. So now you're pregnant. You're maybe starting to show probably towards the end of the second trimester, especially you might start, well, you will likely start feeling movements of your baby during this trimester. It starts to feel a lot more real. Your nausea and vomiting goes away. You're really starting to like stretch your skin. You might have some round ligament pain. So when we look at this box, what do we find? Um, where do I start? Cause I love all of what I'm seeing. Okay. So there is a neem tea tree and charcoal facial soap handcrafted, loving, local, and good. So this is from the same company, Mother Loving. I'm gonna have to look them up. My guess is they're probably an organic, homemade, not homemade, but like local. Ooh, oh, it looks so organic. Mm, I like that smell. Um, but the idea probably, I'm assuming behind the product idea is that you wanna start, well, this would happen the first trimester as well, which is why you have your little belly butter going from the first trimester, but you do wanna start thinking about the products that you're putting on your skin. Are they organic? Are they, are they gonna be low chemicals? Because your skin is our lar largest organ system and it absorbs everything and potentially, in theory, could affect your baby, mildly. Not a lot. And if you're using products that have that have chemicals and stuff in them, you're not like, don't stress about it. But if you can, I would say that's my guess about why this is in here. So, okay, that's a cool idea. And then I see this super cute, the Snuggle is Real gender neutral onesie, which I love. And you know what's something that I noticed is that first of all, first trimester was like, they had the, the journal and then this one, they have a onesie. And you might be asking why there's a onesie in a second trimester box. So my hypothesis on this and why I think it's appropriate would be because now is probably when you start shopping and planning your registries and like hanging up your clothes, it also becomes more real. And then to me, this is another way to bond with your baby. And you wanna think like, okay, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm working my way into being ready to be a parent. And it's not expected that you would be ready yet. You might feel overwhelmed by that, but these little fun things, you're like, oh my God, it's real. It helps you to bond with your baby. I like it. The snuggle is so real. There is a baby owner's manual. I also haven't seen this book, but I'm gonna have to look through it. And I already like how short and concise the information is. It's like babies. It looks like the, the for dummies books, you know, it's like babies for dummies. So operating instructions, troubleshooting tips and advice on the first year maintenance. Great. There's a thing on latch, using a sleep chart, bathtub bath testing the baby's reflexes, child proofing. Oh my God. Okay. So this, my guess is, is this is some expert book, which I'm going to have to look at it. And then I'll probably end up recommending it to you as well, because they have done all the research for us, which is why we're, I'm even here. And so this is going to be your quick hit 
info on how to raise your baby because you want to start thinking like, okay, I actually have to keep this kid alive now. So this is one way to help you do that. And then I see this ultrasonic cool mist humidifier. Oh my God. Okay. So I've secretly been, been wanting one of these. I've had it in my saved list on Amazon for so long and I'm so glad I didn't buy it. So this is a portable one. So this humidifier, oh my God, it's so cute and small. Stop. Can I put this in anything? Hold on. Let me read the directions. Let the wick filter soak for five to 10 minutes. We don't have five to 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna set it up and then we'll see if we can get it working by the end. So basically cool mist humidifier. This to me, in theory, I would use more for a baby than I probably would for a second trimester. So don't totally understand that piece other than like if it's dry out and you're feeling like congested, maybe it's flu season or it's cold. The cool mist humidifier though that's on the go like this is such a cool idea. So you literally set it in this thing and then it's portable, it goes anywhere. I am gonna set it up and see if we can get it going by the by the end of this video. And then, um, and then it humidifies the room. So you could put it like next to the bed or you could put it next to your crib. But I love that this is small and portable and let's see how it works. Let me just set this up, hold on. Okay, I have this marinating for the next like five minutes. I'll come back to that. But basically cool mist humidifier, cool gadget. Um, if I'm totally honest, I don't know how essential it is. Like I think you can live without it, but I think it's fun. And then of course, this makes tons of sense. This is Skinergy compression stock socks. So if you don't have compression socks and you are entering your second trimester, definitely a solid purchase. Compression socks are like a solid 20 bucks a pop. So the idea with compression socks is first of all, you're at risk for blood clots when you're pregnant. And so the compression socks can help prevent that, especially if like you're on an airplane or you're pretty sedentary. That's why you do your little, your little ankle circles and like move yourself around, but also for swelling because swelling typically I would say is more third trimester. If you're having a ton of swelling, not just in your feet, but like your hands, your face, your everywhere, then that might be a risk for preeclampsia. So definitely talk to your doctor about that. It's not a sign necessarily because you can be very swollen in pregnancy. And so compression socks, especially if you're on your feet a lot, you're still working in the second trimester likely, then I would definitely recommend getting yourself a pair and that can help with the swelling of your feet. So overall, I think second trimester, again, makes a ton of sense, which I would expect. I would expect nothing less. I think most essential would be the socks and the baby manual. So like some sort of baby care class, some sort of baby manual book, start learning about your baby and how you're gonna keep it alive. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to the third trimester. All right, so in our third trimester, as usual, we have our really cool little um, booklet. I'll list all the things that are in it in there for topics. Um, for me, my assessment of third trimester, I think you're feeling really pregnant. You're feeling like pregnancy is really real. You're maybe starting to get a little more anxious because you're like, holy moly, this baby is coming. I actually have to do this thing. Um, short of breath anticipating baby. I would sort of expect there to be more baby things in this one, but let's see what they have in this one. So first of all, I see a halo sleep sack. These sleep sacks are money. If you haven't seen my swaddle a baby video, I have that. I'll link it down above, but swaddle me's or some sort of sleep sack are so nice for swaddling your newborn, which is a recommendation for at night. They sleep better. And then this one makes it so much easier, which why don't I show you? So the idea behind the halo sleep sack is look at this is the newborn size and it looks humongous to me, but whatever. So it's kind of like one size fits all for each newborn, no matter how big your newborn is. So what you do is you un Velcro this side, you slip them in with their arms and then you just literally wrap this around and you do it pretty tight cause you want them tight on their upper body and then loose on their bottom. And honestly, these babies, these little Houdini babies are not able to get out of a sleep sack less easy than they might be able to get out of a swaddle. So definitely invest yourself. I would say, honestly, Halo might be my favorite brand. They have the like cotton stretchy version and then they also have a fleece version. So if you're in a cold environment, to get yourself a couple and you can kind of try out each brand. That's what I do love about this as well. Even now I'm looking at this, I'm like, you need to try this one, you need to try that one, and probably this as well, just at first glance. 
But in general, you're gonna probably buy this stuff anyway, and so you might as well get it cheaper. Anyway, all right, so then I see a Dr. Brown's pacifier which Dr. Brown's is a brand that is highly recommended by pediatricians, I do know that. They also have a Dr. Brown's bottle. I'm assuming this one's gonna be a so, slow, flow, slow flow bottle, which it's wide neck, new breast-like nipple, and anti-colic, which we love to help reduce colic, which is like gas that causes, that causes them to cry a lot. So I wanna know that it's slow flow. In general, when you're introducing a bottle, I want to look for a, oh, it's a natural flow, which to me means slow flow, I'm pretty sure. We'll figure that one out. Either way, they the Dr. Brown's has this little thing inside that like sticks down the middle and that helps prevent the baby from ingesting air inside. And so that just, the air is gonna cause gas, which is gonna make them more upset and more in pain. And so that's why Dr. Brown's is usually that recommended. So the other thing is with bottles, guys, is that there are so many types of bottles. I recommend trying one, see how it works, then try and if it doesn't work, try another, because it's very much based on baby preference. And then what's going on to so like help, if they were premature, they may need a different type, and if they weren't, they might need a different type, et cetera. And so um, I love this as a starter bottle. I totally approve. I think that's a great idea, whether your breast milk is going in that bottle or your formula feeding, great. You're gonna want some bottles on hand. Pacifier is great as well. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty pro pacifier. I think there's a time and a place. I think it's a tool to help you survive as parents. There's some like bad rap with pacifiers and people are concerned that if they give a pacifier, they won't be able to breastfeed and that's actually not true. So I do say to invest in a few different types of pacifiers. The other thing with Dr. Brown's is, it's this is medical silicone grade, Stage one, yeah, there's different sizes based on this. I don't know why Dr. Brown's is better than anyone else. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm assuming based on the research they did that this is a good one. It looks like a pacifier to me. So you can try it and you get your little sample. And then I see, oh, that's cute. I like their branding. I love this color. Okay, so you get a Wumblekin mug for your Earth Mama tea. So if you haven't heard of Earth Mama, they were part of my giveaway. Solid company. They have so many cool products for your baby and then also for you. And so with that, um, the third trimester tea helps support unique needs of late pregnancy. So I don't even know what's in this one. I don't remember. I know that they have red raspberry leaf. <laughs> there you go. So that's actually what it is. So it's red raspberry leaf, nettle leaf, oat straw, spearmint, rose hips, chamomile, and alfalfa leaf so great i didn't understand that this third trimester tea was actually red raspberry tea and it probably tastes better than just straight up red raspberry tea so recommendation in your third trimester towards the end is to drink about two tea bags of red raspberry leaf tea otherwise known as earth mama tea or some other type of red raspberry leaf tea and that helps tone the uterus to make it stronger in preparation for labor and birth. So I love that this is an herbal way to help to prep your body for labor and birth. You're prepped for your baby. You can drink it in your cute little Wumblekin teacup. And then, let's see, oh yes, okay, guys. This is in my Corona kits, although these are way more fancy than what's in my Corona kits. When I give my Corona kits out to my labor support clients, I literally just give them a tennis ball, which is somewhat the same thing, except for these pressure point balls. What are they actually called? Um, yoga tune-up therapy ball pair in tote. There you go. Okay, so if you haven't had one of these, these are like lacrosse balls or whatever. These are so good for labor massage and they're super good for softening your pelvic floor. So how you would use something like this is you'd sit it under your butt cheek between your sits bones. So if you feel under your butt when you're sitting, you're gonna feel for a solid bone and then find your butt cheek to your hip and then tailbone. So you're creating like sits bone, hip, tailbone, and right in, or just like right smack dab in the middle of your butt your butt, <laughs> your like booty meat, like the juicy part of your butt, you just stick it in and then you're gonna sit and move around until you find tender spots. I'm not tender. What's going on? I'm normally very, ooh, there's one. Ooh. Oh yeah, okay, so when you find that tender spot on either side, I do recommend doing this to, ooh, that side is way worse. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Okay, so you're gonna lean into that discomfort. These trigger point balls, they're also myofascial release balls. They're good for massage, but you can actually help soften the pelvic floor in preparation for labor and birth. I actually love, this might be my favorite thing, I'm not gonna lie, as a part of this box. I don't know that it's the most useful thing, but to me, I'm like, this is one of those things that you just don't think about. Hold on, I need a second. Ow, my left butt cheek is so sore. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So great for a labor bag, great for third trimester as you're prepping your body for the work of labor. And then these are gonna be much more firm than a tennis ball. You could always do a tennis ball or you could just get yourself a box and get everything that you need all in one for a discounted price, which I love. So overall, this third trimester box makes so much sense. I feel like the, the Halo sleep sack, first of all, is like, you will buy this anyway. These guys you definitely need for your labor and birth in preparation of your pelvic floor, soften everything out so you don't have any like internal pelvic floor issues. You're gonna get a bottle anyway and you need to be drinking red raspberry leaf tea. I feel like this, this box is my favorite so far, not gonna lie. I feel like this is the most useful and makes the most sense in preparation for your labor and birth. Then we're through the third trimester into labor and birth. And so when you pack your labor bag, then um, you're gonna need some things for your labor bag. So let's see what they recommend. <laughs> labor and birth. Ooh, I can't wait to read what they tell. I love reading other childbirth education stuff because I always end up learning something or like a new way of saying things. I'm like, oh, cute. Oh, I forgot they did this. I totally opened these ahead of time just to glance at this stuff, but how sweet. It says, hey, Sarah, we're so excited to have a labor nurse and birth coach review our entire Wumble subscription. We really hope you love it. So it's like a handwritten note. I think that they said that that comes with every box. So if this is a gift, like what a thoughtful thing. So they handwrite a little note. And then we have our labor and birth information, which I will list here to tell you all the things that they talk about and all the little topics that you need to know based on prepping for your labor and birth. And then I see a bag. So let's pull out this bag. Ooh, and there's a mom boss. Some, some. Okay, so we have a labor bag backpack situation by, where is this by? Banana Fish. So you get a little backpack here and it opens. It has like the nice like sturdy opening piece. And then, let's see. Okay, okay, changing pad, which I don't think honestly, I think probably just comes with the bag because you don't need a changing pad for the hospital. You can change on the bed, you can change anywhere you want, but having a waterproof changing pad, 1000%, you need a couple of these, throw them in your diaper caddies around the house. It's just easier than like your baby peeing on the couch, then you having to like strip the couch or wash the couch or whatever, you can just put these down first. Pretty sure that comes with the bag and is not like necessarily part of this, but we'll go with it. There is, Oh my God, so cute. I have seen these on Instagram so many times. I, you probably have too, with feet that say, keep calm and push on. This is Brave Socks. So this is like the perfect cute little gift. If you're looking for like, you wanna put together your own little bag or whatever, these I think are such a fun thing. And they have the little grippies on the bottom, which you will need grippy socks when you're in a hospital. You could also bring slippers. They also have sticky socks, but if you're trying to be like extra cute and extra Instagrammable, these would be definitely a cute thing to bring along in your bag. I like that. And then, oh, this is, I think, hold on, let me find. I need to pull out all of this. Okay, I know what this is. So this is a hot and cold pack. And look, it looks like a pad. So you can throw this in the freezer. I would say do not bring this to the hospital. This is not you're, it would get cold so fast. But if you throw this in the freezer in your home and then it comes with this like cover thing that I'll put on it, hold on. It's like a sock for the, for the cold because you do not wanna put direct ice on your vagina or on anywhere in your body. It can actually like harm the skin, but you put this in your pad to like cool off your vagina slash your perineum after you give birth. That can be really soothing and definitely recommended to put ice on it. So this I think is great, although I don't know why this goes in the labor bag. I think it's just like thinking immediate postpartum because you're not icing your vag for like ever. You're just icing it for like the first couple of days. So that makes sense. And then this part is washable that you can throw away so that you're not like using it once when it's reusable. That wouldn't make sense. And then, 
There is Honey Pot Postpartum Herbal Infused Pads with Wings. Hold on. They have mint for cooling, lavender for calming, and aloe for soothing. I had no idea that this existed. I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool. I wonder if it actually works. If any of you have used these, let us know because this seems like a really cool idea. Honey pot. So you do need pads and you need to have pads for home. When you're in the hospital, they will give you pads. So again, I don't know that you have to bring this with you, but for immediate postpartum makes a lot of sense. And they're like specific for postpartum with essential oils to help soothe your lady parts. That is a great idea. And it's all plant-based and natural and for our mommies. So I like that for sure. You'll definitely need pads to go home with. And then of course, your witch hazel pads are essential for your vaginal healing. My one critique is what if you um, are a postpartum mama? Like this feels very vaginal focused and what if you don't end up delivering vaginally? Then I don't know, you probably wouldn't use the witch hazel pads, but you would actually use the pads because you still bleed when you're, when you're, you give birth via cesarean birth. So, this is gonna be vaginal focused. I lie, these ones are not, that's fine. And then let me check the other pockets. I feel like there was a couple more things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So we have booby butter and this is by Mother Loving Potions. Like Mother Loving Potions, so small. So Mother Loving Potions and so this is gonna be like nipple cream to help soothe you for when you're breastfeeding, after you're breastfeeding which is good, you'll buy some anyway. They can also give you some in the hospital. You can always ask for that. There's a Wumblekin lip balm, which 1000%, this is the one thing that like, I don't know, I feel like people either forget or we end up using so regularly is hydration and then lip balm for through labor, for freshening you up and then brushing your teeth. Those are like the two things in labor that just like give you a little pick me up. So definitely throw some chapstick in your bag. And then there are, hair ties, which of course, like there's nothing worse than like hair in your face and sweat everywhere when you're laboring. You wanna like throw that ish on your head in a bun and be set to go. I think that's it. So there's lots of different pockets in this bag. There's internal pockets. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Solid, okay. So this makes a ton of sense for a labor box. Um, I think my favorite items are definitely the socks. These are like really nice cozy socks. I am loving the Honey Pot postpartum pads that I didn't even know existed that are specific for postpartum. That's great. Um, oh, and I forgot something. Okay, and then there's this Mom Boss 4-in-1 multi-use breastfeeding cover slash stroller cover slash scarf. Cute. So it's in like the gray and white chevron pattern, which is nice. I am just kind of like, I know not everybody feels this way. This is totally my own opinion, but I'm like, you know what? It's you're feeding your baby, like whip it out and do what you got to do. And like dealing with all the things can be really cumbersome. So you do, if you're feel, not feeling like you just want to whip it out in public and you're feeling like you want to cover yourself, a scarf's a nice way because you just wear the scarf. And then when you go to breastfeed, you just pop your baby underneath and pull it over one shoulder and then it'll cover the breastfeeding situation. Also in coronavirus, when you're out and about, I would definitely say cover your baby just with like things flying around in the air and who knows what stranger that's not being very considerate that walks up like, oh my God, look how cute your baby is. Nah, we don't want any of that. Um, so you probably will also get one of these. That's solid as well. So mind you, I feel like this one could go in the postpartum box. Maybe not so much the labor and birth box because when you're in the hospital, like unless you're feeling really modest, you're around the nurses who like literally are gonna be grabbing your boobs trying to help you breastfeed and no one really cares unless you do. And if you care, that's fine. <laughs> but this makes more sense for maybe leaving the hospital that you wanna cover your baby going through the hospital, down to the lobby, down to your car, and then when you're in your car, obviously uncover your baby. So like I said, I think my favorite, my favorite items I think still are the socks and pads. And then I'm kind of like, see, I like pack bags and this is like what I do. So I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'd wanna bring my own bag and pack my own bag. And then like they have Witchell Hazel in the hospital. So I hate to say it. This is probably my least favorite box if I'm being totally honest. It makes sense that you need all of these things. Um, and I think at the discounted price, especially if you love the bag, then that would be where you go with this. So then 
we get into the postpartum fourth trimester box. I opened this one and I was so giddy about what was inside. I was like, stop the madness. This is such a good idea. If we pull out our postpartum box, notice it's a little more bulky because of this Moby wrap that comes with it, which is awesome. And so especially for the price point, guys, the Moby wraps can be like 50 bucks in themselves and the whole box is like 49 bucks. So. The first thing I see, of course, is a Moby wrap. You have heard me talk like 5,000 times about wrapping your baby. You need to wear your baby. It's an awesome way to free up your hands, to bond, to connect, to be on the go. It's like my favorite thing, and you can wear them throughout their entire life, practically, into toddlerhood, although then your back gets more sore, so definitely just start with newborn, and Moby is such a solid brand. They're gonna be thicker, like the Moby actual fabric is gonna be a lot thicker than say the one, what was that? Was my giveaway maybe I did? I can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, my giveaway was the Solly wrap. So the Solly is gonna be a lighter weight fat fabric, whereas, sorry, I'm sure that's loud. Ooh, it's navy, I like that. The Moby is gonna be like, you know what? Maybe my Moby's different. I have another Moby and it's like thick. Maybe it was a different brand. This actually just feels like a t-shirt. Hmm. So I lie, I take that back. <laughs> the Moby is definitely just t-shirt fabric. And what I also love, and if you see me on Instagram, I talk all, I like wrapped my nephew. I like have so many things about wrapping babies. This is 1000% something you need for your postpartum. Makes a ton of sense, makes a ton of sense that you would get, oh my God, wait. Hold on. Okay, I just got so distracted. Bye. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Hold it in, Sarah. You need to wrap your baby. You'll buy a wrap anyway. Moby is like such a solid brand and I love that it's in this box. Okay, so these, you guys, are like the essential newborn foot thing in the world. So if you have a baby already, comment down below and agree with me here that baby socks are like the cutest things in the entire world, but they suck. They totally suck, they fall off, you lose them, you're like, where's the matching one? Blah, 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 like they're such a nice idea, but even better, you need a pair. These are by Zutano of these baby booties. First of all, they're like the cutest things in the entire world, and second of all, you unsnap them, you just put the baby's foot in, and then you snap around their ankle, and they do not come off. They keep their feet warm, they're super adorable, and especially for the price point, this box is like so incredibly discounted, I die. Like this one alone would pay for the box, and then you get these on top of it, and these are like not as cheap as socks, that's for sure. I don't know how much they are off the top of my head, but they are not necessarily the cheapest, and they are so useful. These I'd suggest getting more than socks, obviously like, Get yourself a couple pairs of socks, but these are gonna be like way more important for sure. Probably my favorite thing in this box actually because they're so cute. And then I see more soap. So you're refilling your soap at this point. Okay, cool. And then I see Simply Earth 100% Pure Oil, Therapeutic Grade, is it essential oils? If it's therapeutic grade, it probably is. Oh, oh, I love this about it. It says 13% to end human trafficking. So they must, it says with every purchase you make, Simply Earth donates 13% of the products to organizations fighting human trafficking. I love that. I actually did a live with my sister because that's what my sister does. She is the director of an organization that fights human trafficking. Um, so let's see what's inside. Simply Earth Good Vibes Pre-Diluted Formula. That's what you want when you're looking for essential oils. 100% pure essential oil diluted with fractionated coconut oil. Okay, what's in it? So there's clary sage, geranium, lavender, lemon, and ho wood essential oil. This is a postpartum vibe. Um, geranium, lavender, and what was the other one? Clary sage are all great for breastfeeding, great for soothing, and great for healing. Ooh, that's nice. What does that smell like? Oh my God, yes. Okay, so if you're trying to use essential oils, you can use essential oils in multiple fashions. One drop in your hands, rub to heat it up. Ooh, I smell the lemon. Is there lemon in that? There has to be lemon in that. There is lemon, yep. Ooh, that's nice. I hate the smell of geranium and clary sage. And with clary sage being the first ingredient, I was like, this thing's gonna smell like clary sage and that's not my favorite, but it does not. It smells more lemony and i do smell the geranium but very subtle and geranium's very healing in theory with it being diluted you wouldn't have to dilute it 
for putting on your body. You might want to Google that, but um, that's my take on it. Pure oils. I love it. I love that they have an essential oil in here. I'm such an essential oil freak. If you want a video on that, it's on my list, so I can bump it to the top if you really want to talk essential oils. But this one is going to be specific for supporting your postpartum experience. You can put a drop on your hands. You can put it in a diffuser. You could rub it on your feet. Your feet are super absorbent with essential oils. In theory, you could put a couple drops in your bath water, in your, a drop in your sits bath. Um, this is money. This is total money. I am actually going to look into this, especially because they support human trafficking. I'm like, maybe I'll get this for my clients. Gonna think about that. Okay. And then last but not least, obviously I forgot to tell you about our thing. I'll list everything here about what's in the book. Um, and then there's ready, set food, early allergen introduce introduction system for peanut, egg, and milk. I know nothing about this company, but it must be cool and now I need to learn. So interesting. Continue to use for six plus months. One packet a day added to baby's normal feeding routine. The powder mixes easily with breast milk formula or food and it introduces baby to one food at a time made only from organic peanuts, eggs, and milks, no added sugar or additives. Oh my gosh, I feel really, this is for four plus months. So this is gonna be like later into postpartum. Hold on, I feel like very out of it that I don't know about this company. Oh, cool, okay, look, it's like there's like this little system inside that's all separated by packets and it's day one. They literally have the labels on it. Day one to day 11 and then there's day M. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna go with it and I'm sure that the directions would explain it. But my understanding would be that this is a way to introduce your infant to some of our highest allergen ingredient like food items like milk, eggs, and peanuts. And we know that being allergic to milk, eggs, or peanuts makes your life so much more difficult. And actually there's some new research coming out saying that, that, that it's actually by not exposing them early is what is developing the allergy, the allergies to those things. So my guess is this is an early way to introduce those things and help, uh, help them avoid those, those foods as an allergy. That doesn't make sense. Help them not be allergic to these types of foods. I'm gonna have to learn and do the research for myself to know more about this company because I think this idea is super cool and super important because to have allergies like that is really annoying for their lives into the future. And what I love about this company is they've already done all the research for us and said, look, if you're going into postpartum, these are like five essential items to help support your postpartum journey. And so I love that. I would have never known about this company unless I would have seen this. So super grateful. So overall for the postpartum box, I take it back. The third trimester box was my favorite, but 1000% the postpartum box is my favorite. I'm loving the essential oil idea. These booties make the most sense in the world. They're way better than socks. Keep their little feet warm. This is really cool. I need to learn more and you 1000% need to wrap your baby. So I am all about this box. We have made it through this enormous haul of each trimester of your pregnancy and then with products to support them and then also the education piece, which of course I have right here. So you end up with like this entire booklet of information that you can reference through each of your trimesters. So I actually really like that. I sort of wish these were one-off purchases that I could make and give to my clients because when I looked through them, I'm like, oh, this is on point with this information. The other thing I noticed about this is that a lot of times when you subscribe to something or even when you give a gift or baby shower or something, everything is very either baby focused or mom focused. And so what I notice about all this stuff is each box not only supports mom through her pregnancy and the fact that your body's changing and pregnancy can be really hard and it can be really like lovely at the same time, but it also can be challenging and there's things that happen with your body and there are products to support that through your pregnancy journey, but then also not to forget that you're carrying another human being and that you're living, you're growing this life inside of you. And so also to help you bond with your baby and then also be prepared for that like 
baby care stuff and like the swaddle and the booties and the wrap and bonding, I see like very much a bonding theme through all of that that I very much appreciate. So with Wumblekin, you can purchase one box or you can subscribe or give this fun gift that comes in the mail every trimester to support a healthy pregnancy, connecting with your baby, like I said, or just making the process extra fun as like a little booster. With it being product land out there, I'm like the moment you get pregnant, you're bombarded with all of the things you need for your pregnancy, your labor, your birth, your baby. And so what I love about this is that it makes it so easy for you. It takes all the stress out of it. It gives you an opportunity to sample some things that you probably would buy otherwise. And if they work for you, great. And if they don't, you haven't invested in like, you know, one Moby wrap that cost your entire box that instead it's like, oh, okay, but I also got this allergen system that's hiding and those little booties that like you get it all at a very discounted price. Plus, like I said, it's such a fun gift. Thanks everyone for being with me here today. If you want more from me, you can hit up the description box down below. I'll leave my website there and also up here for you to check out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and make sure you follow Wumblekin on Instagram and learn if they have new products coming out and then also learn more information about your labor, pregnancy, birth because they have this entire team of experts that are contributing to that platform and their blog. So I will also link the blog down below so you can check that out because I was already on there earlier and scrolling through and they have some really, really helpful information for not only your pregnancy, but also your postpartum and baby care life. I would love to know what your favorite item from this haul was. I will say that mine is probably little baby booties because they're really cute and they're super practical at the same time. And I think the biggest surprise for me was this allergy thing that I think is like so cool and I cannot wait to learn more about. And then also the honey pot, I was also very surprised about. Um, but I think that all of the items are really truly helpful. I think obviously like the, there are some that are more helpful than others, but overall I think that each box was very well thought through and very much I could see how it would be expert curated and mom curated because I've, I've seen in one form of an, or another other than these guys, <laughs> some sort of these items being useful to help your life. And I love that you can get them at such an incredibly discounted price compared to what you would, you would spend to buy them each individually. Make sure you subscribe down below. And then until next time, don't forget to flex and flow and I will see you soon. Bye.